You're right. Yes, yes. because yes. The because of the dead the salmon and it nutri and the nutrients exactly. from the dead salmon oh, grow have the plant grow exactly. even bigger. Exactly. Very very good. Nature power. So this forest eats salmon. It's called a salmon forest. Everybody say salmon forest. Salmon, salmon forest. forest. Wonderful. My name is Brian Bank, hatchery manager uh, in the Nanaimo River Hatchery. Uh, we're a CDP hatchery um, contracted by DFO. Uh, the contract holder is the Nanaimo River Stewardship Society. Uh, so we produce upwards of uh, 3 million fish every year. Um, we do fall, summer run Chinook, uh, Chum, Coho and Pinks. And also work a bit on the Shimanus River as well. We run two um, education programs, one in the spring, one, one in the fall. We get upwards of 1,000, 1,500 uh, elementary students through here every year. Uh, we also produce eggs for the classroom incubation program um, where the, the kids get to hatch out their own eggs. My name's Diana. We're going to go release some salmon fry and do some salmon magic. This morning I measured the temperature of the water and it was 10 degrees. Salmon like water that is between 9 and 15 degrees. So is this water the right temperature for yes. salmon? It is. My name is Diana Hardacre and uh, I've been teaching at the hatchery since 2008. Uh, three weeks in the spring and three weeks in the fall. And uh, it's been a very rewarding experience. It's, uh, it's great teaching the kids about nature. Well, the salmon here. <gasps> I'm going to take some fish from the white bucket and move them into the black bucket. And we'll see if you can tell which fish I just moved. Look in the black bucket. Can you tell which ones I just moved? Yeah. How many did they, you move? They look three. You moved three. That's right. And how can you tell which ones I moved? Because they're light. light. They're light. They're light. That's exactly right. When I do the salmon magic, they, they're just in awe of the fact that these salmon can change to look like where they are. And they're not the only ones in awe of it. The adults are going like, wow, that's so cool. I didn't know they did that. You're going to put it down at the water and very gently let your little fish go. Are they all light ones? Yes. I'm going to name it. Wow. Okay, I'm going to fish you in the Fiona? Oh. Try to dump it in the river. Yeah. Miss Yeah. Yeah. I already had Carl. You buy little fish here. Every day when I teach, I see the children's eyes just light up and they're just in wonder at how utterly beautiful this is. I hope to see. Uh, a generation that is um, uh, inspired by how beautiful nature is and through what we teach them they become aware of the fact that everything in nature is connected. So does anybody know what an invertebrate is? Yes. And I do not know what the other one is. Sea turtles. Sea turtles, nice. Who you got? Um, a food web is like it's like the food chain. Moon snails. Not a moon snail. Where did you get, them? Where did you get the snack barnacle? Oh. No. So who gets their energy directly from the sun? The I sun? never tried. I mean, who does? And the salmon. Oil. Oil spills. Yeah, those are really, really bad. And sea stars eat. You get energy from barnacles. Be able to see what what's happening in nature and really get an appreciation um, what's happening. I know. Um, there's people in their, their 30s and, and 40s that came here when they were kids, so they all talk about uh, the field trips coming out to the hatchery, so it's, it's great to hear those stories. They, um, it's great memories and basically give everybody an appreciation for, for nature and the fish.